local colleges, meanwhile, are taking after the University of Florida's lead in canceling in-person classes for the time being. University of Tampa making the call just moments ago. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon live with a new effort to keep local college students safe. Julie. Wendy, we just found out about an hour ago the University of Tampa is moving its classes online starting on Monday. Here at USF, they'll be doing the same thing following spring break. USF students learning tonight their classes will soon move to online or remote instruction, a precaution to protect against coronavirus. It's just kind of an annoyance more than anything. I know some people are excited, but I am a chemistry major and it's going to be tough to deal with labs online especially. USF students received an email that says remote instruction starts after spring break beginning March 23rd and lasting at least two weeks until April 5th. Whenever your class is scheduled, that's when you will log in as a student and your professor should be there uh, communicating with you. However, in some cases, uh, professors may show some flexibility USF officials ask students to go home during spring break if possible and do not return for at least two weeks since classes will be online. Students living on campus can remain in residence halls if they cannot return home. Students say moving courses online is necessary. I think it's scary, but I know a lot of the people who are being affected are, you know, older people and people who have weaker immune systems. So I'm not too afraid for it, but, you know, it's just being clean, washing our hands and doing what we can. And USF officials pointing out tonight there have been no confirmed cases of coronavirus here on campus. They're simply moving those classes online as a precaution. Reporting live at USF, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.